Music, performances, free testing, and information. People of all ages attended Metro Teen AIDS annual Golden Ticket event to commemorate World AIDS Day. MTA has worked with young people in the district for over 20 years to combat the spread of HIV. Dedicated counselors and peer educators work together to fight a disease that has had an impact on their own lives. When I was about 11 or 12 years old, um, my mother disclosed her status to me and my siblings. Over time, I would then learn that well, Washington, D.C. has the highest HIV infection rate in the country. Uh, I would learn that a few of my friends uh, are HIV positive. Um, and had been for a long time that I never knew. MTA has impacted over 200,000 young adults through their outreach program. Educators use informational presentations, free HIV testing, and condom demonstrations to address behaviors that put young people at risk of contracting HIV and sexually transmitted infections. You have a mixture of people who know the importance of knowing their status um, and protecting themselves, and then there's the other half who don't know nothing about HIV who wouldn't even care to know their status, even if you know, it meant life or death. The Department of Health shows a 46% drop in new HIV cases. While HIV rates are decreasing, chlamydia and gonorrhea rates are on the rise, opening up another front in the health battle Washington, D.C. is fighting. MTA counselors are concerned about the statistics and what the numbers suggest about young adult behavior. Folks are choosing not to protect themselves. The counselors here at Metro Teen AIDS are doing everything they can to stop the spread of HIV and AIDS. The ultimate goal is to eliminate HIV and risky behavior from the community, putting the counselors out of a job. For Spotlight News, I'm Carissa Braxton.